Welcome to Global Defense. China has developed a land-based prototype nuclear reactor for a large surface warship, according to new analysis from satellite images and Chinese government documents. This points to significant progress toward China's potential first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. The Middlebury Institute of International Studies in California found that the reactor development matches China ambition to boost its naval capabilities. This move would enable China's Navy to expand its global operational reach, which aligns with President Xi Jinping's long-standing objective to strengthen the country's maritime power. The addition of nuclear-powered carriers would be a game-changer, as they can operate for longer periods without needing refueling, supporting China's shift from near-sea defense to far-sea missions. Currently, only the U.S. and France operate nuclear-powered carriers, with the U.S leading in global maritime presence with 11 such ships. China current fleet includes three conventional carriers with the Type 003 Fujian as the first domestically designed and built. Although China has announced a fourth carrier, there has been no confirmation of its power source. The Pentagon has expressed growing concern over China's rapid naval expansion. This development could suggest that even if China fourth carrier is conventionally powered, its shipyards may still produce a nuclear-powered carrier concurrently. Researchers from Middlebury initially examined a site in Sichuan, suspecting it might involve a reactor for weapons-grade material. However, findings pointed to a reactor designed for a large warship operated by the Nuclear Power Institute. Supporting this conclusion, documents from the 701 Institute, which oversees carrier development, reveal that reactor equipment specifically for a large surface warship had been acquired. Combined with the project's national defense priority, these findings indicate China's strategic preparation for its next generation carrier. President Xi's emphasis on expanding naval capabilities has been reflected in official policies and China's 2019 defense white paper which outlined a shift to global naval operations. This development showcases how China aims to challenge existing global powers and solidify its influence in critical maritime regions. Thank you for listening to Global Defense. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share with others.